Okay, with the end of the year coming up, I wanted to show you guys how you can make a Jeopardy game to help you review. So the first thing you're going to do is open PowerPoint and just do a blank presentation. Let's make this full screen so you can see. Okay, so once you've got your presentation open, this is where it gets fun and you can start formatting it to however you want. You can add a title slide if you want to, or we can go ahead and just get straight into Jeopardy for this tutorial I'm just going to get straight into Jeopardy. So I changed the layout to a blank. Now we're going to put in a table. So you got to make some choices here about how your Jeopardy is going to go. I'm going to make Jeopardy that has five categories and we can get up to 500 points. So 100, 200, 300, 400, up to 500 points. So you put your table in. And if you have the time and the desire to make it nice and cutesy, you can change the colors, you can change the shading and the borders here, you can adjust the font when you type into the tables. The main thing you need to do is to make this fill your whole screen. So you then need to name each category. I'm just going to put in the seasons because it's the end of the year and I'm getting excited. And Okay, so once you put in your titles, this is where you're going to go ahead and put in the amounts for each question. Um, you can do them by hundreds or other dollar amounts. You could make them just worth one, two, three, four, and five points, however you want. So you'll go in and fill out the whole table. Okay, once you've got your whole table filled out, you're going to go ahead and start making the questions for each category. Now at this point you don't need to know any special tricks for making PowerPoint um, questions. The only thing you need to do is put in a new slide for each question. So if my summer category has five questions, I need to put in five slides for summer and then five more for fall and five for winter, five for the end of the year, five for freedom. So for today, I'm just going to show you how to make one question and then I'll show you a finished product so you can see what it looks like when you're done. So you're going to put in a new slide. If you just push new slide, it will put in the same layout that you had before. If it doesn't, for some reason, you can change the layout right here. So mine's blank. Just going to double click to open a text box. I'm making a question for summer 100. So so I've got my question. I'm just going to center it in here. You can put in pictures. You can change the font and adjust all the settings. But today we're just showing you how to put it together. So once you've got it in there, you'll go through and make a question for each of these sections. I'm going to show you how you can link it to the slide so that your questions are ready to use so that when you present, we you'll be able to click on the amount and it'll take you straight to that slide and then you'll be able to get straight back to this slide from the question that you clicked on. So that was a summer for 100 questions. So we're going to highlight 100 right here and we are going to go to the insert tab and right over here on the insert tab is an option that says insert link. Now when you first do it, it's got a hyperlink. You need to choose this document and then within the option of this document, go under slide titles. This little drop down arrow will take you there. Once you've got in all your slides for all the questions, there's going to be a ton of options here because I only did two. There's only two options. I want this 100 to link me to this slide, which is slide number two. So I'll click on slide number two and hit OK. Now this is a hyperlink to this slide. So when I go to click on this number, it will take me straight to this slide. Now once you're on this slide, you also need to be able to get back to the main page. So the way I did that on mine was just insert a little shape. Let's do a smiley face just down in the bottom corner. And then same thing with that shape highlighted. You need to go to insert link. It's already on this document, so I can go to slide titles, and I want it to take me back to my main slide, so I'll choose slide number one and hit OK. So now when we show this as a slideshow, if I click on this, it will take me straight back. Oops. Now it's frozen, of course. It will take me straight back to the main slide. Once that was frozen and not wanting to show off its capabilities, here is a Jeopardy game I made previously. So as you can see this Jeopardy game has all the questions in it and then it has all the questions put in so that these are all links for me to click on. So I already put the whole thing together. So let me show you how this will work when you put it together. So when I've got it going here, let's say that the students wanted word work for 300. If I click on that it'll take me straight to the question. And then if I use my little arrow down here in the bottom it will take me straight back and I can go through 
and go to all of the various questions and get back to my home page within the presentation that's being projected up on my board. And that is how you are going to make yourself a quick and easy Jeopardy game on PowerPoint. Best of luck to you in your end of year review games. That's all I've got for you today. See ya.